I can hear you and go for it. Hi, everybody. So, um, you may have noticed already I've been stitching while the lightning talks have been going on. And basically, uh, if you don't know who I am, I'm a research software engineer at the Turing. I'm also a member of the Turing Way and um, I help run my binder.org as well. And I'm here to announce a new carpentry style lesson, which is cross stitch carpentry. So what this came from was um, the last Turing Way book dash as like a thank you gift. I put together a kit for all of the attendees of like a small cross stitch of the binder logo. And the reason why I thought this was um, helpful for people is that it's quite, um, I'm promoting mindfulness. You know, it helps me keep off my phone, off my social media. Um, when I need to like de-stress and relax and and I think we all need some of that at the minute um, and but it's also quite analytical as well you have to sort of like decrypt all of the symbols into the right thread color and then follow the pattern so I thought I would open source all of the instructions and the um, the the pattern I produced as this carpentry style lesson. And there actually is one of those kits from the Turing Way book dash left remaining. So I would also like to run a competition. Um, I'd like you to share a picture um, in a tweet of how you incorporate mindfulness into your routine and de-stress from work. And we have the hashtag uh, collabw20mindfulness. And hopefully, I think tomorrow there's a prize winning announcement and maybe I can hijack that a bit and I will pick one person um, who tweets a picture of their mindfulness routine to win that cross stitch um, bundle. Um, and thank you to Mal Malvika Sharan as well, who helped me put this together. So yeah, cross stitch carpentry, so, some mindfulness for the, um, the strange times we're finding ourselves in. Awesome, thank you so much, Sarah. All right.